So this lighting is super interesting. Like if I put it, oh wait, wait now, wait now. Yes, when I put it on my lips, my lips look incredible. Anyway. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. Sorry. Um, welcome to Ireland in December. No, it's still November, calm down Grace. What is happening? Now I just have a glorious chest area. Fabulous! What was I doing? I was going to start a little vlog. I don't know if anyone would be interested because, uh, but you know, it seems to be the thing to do and it seems like it could be quite fun. So today is gonna to be a fun day. I've just gone shopping and I bought some giant couscous and some, and some gnocchi exciting stuff. Oh, and a giant thing of <gasps> parsley, which I will definitely kill. I'm giving it one week. It will die. I'm sorry, I sentenced you to death by bringing you home. But yes, I hope you will enjoy this little vloggy vlog. Uh, I think it'll be quite fun. It's so warm in this car and I don't want to get out. Yeah. Oh. No one else does this where they put everything in the same hand. Oh, I've got to do the thing with the gate to open it. Oh no. Can I do it while I'm filming? I can. That's amazing. So my dishwasher salt is leaking. It's the worst day in the world. I'm so cold. This is a feeling. I feel like it, this grey cloud is going to just like collapse on me in a moment. Do you remember like literally five seconds ago when it was bright, sunny, shiny? Yeah, that was actually five seconds ago. Oh, I've put my keys at the bottom of my bag and then put all of the stuff on my... No! I have a question. Do I obsessively clean this filthy, filthy kitchen? Or do I go up and get the work that I need to get done done? Because I only have a certain amount of energy I've figured out and I can either clean for two hours or do the work for two hours. I think I need to do the work because I have not been doing the work, so I must do the work. And I will leave this for another time because it's freaking endless. Yes, I'm gonna do that really cool thing where I Totally, look at this, look at this, look at this. Don't stop looking at it. But look, I'm putting the water into my teacup and it's all relaxing, chill. But look at this! <sighs> anyway, so this is some uh, loose leaf tea that I got from the, oh, shut up. Bloody fire alarm thing. Sustra Greenness, ladies. It's so delicious. It smells like apple pie. Yum. So update on the alarm system because people have been like, oh, you know, you need to replace the battery and stuff. No, it's wired into the, it's wired into the mains. And uh, yeah, so I tech, my father, who is savvy like that, has told me, do not touch it. We are getting a electrician out to have a look at it because it is wired into the mains. Do not touch it. So I physically am not allowed to touch the beeping alarm that is driving me insane. <gasps> Like, I, I keep on going up and having a look and just, I feel like I, it just unscrews some stuff and it would like fall apart. But then, because it's all wired into the same circuit, it's like, probably would set off one of the other ones. Ah! It totally snapped. And I just ripped it off the ceiling. By rip, I mean I, what the hell? Where? What? Oh, sweet it was the flipping carbon monoxide monitor. All along. We ripped out every single fire alarm, smoke alarm, and instead it was this thing behind our backs doing it on purpose. Oh my God. I might finally have some peace, but I'm really, I feel really bad for the fire alarms because now I feel really bad. I better call my dad and be like, so hey, uh, I think it was something else. Eek. Okay, so dad thinks I'm great for figuring it out and I'm like, it only took a week, like, oh my God. <sighs> now I feel like peace has returned to my home. It only took a week. Anyway, um, yeah, so I am, um, just gonna really quickly clean this, clean the kitchen, and then and then I'll really get to business. Okay, I promise. Okay. So, sag of the fire alarm sorted. Actually, carbon monoxide alarm, which you know makes sense. Now that <laughs> that's all done, it's time to start working on the yarn. 
and that's an octopus set of leggings that does not fit me because I ordered the wrong size. Don't know what to do with them. But yes, so what I need to do is photograph this whole big box of yarn on my fancy chair slash table slash fancy light box yoke, which is also called a window. Yeah. Mm. Fabulous. <laughs> Super red on the picture, but it's more of an orangey. I wonder what this looks in like. Whoa. See, the sunshine is so bright. It's just blowing it out of colour. I, I would love if it looked like that, but it, <laughs> it totally doesn't. So. Yeah, that's kind of... Gosh, it's tricky to get this one. It's really I'm nice. watching it's always great. Maria, the ninja chicken. She's keeping me company. That's... That's coming out way more red, you know? I just don't know how to make it not do that. more like rust rather than whatever is happening there. I mean it's a beautiful colour either way but gosh it's so hard to get them representative. Yay. This is a version of Aura which is more of a dip dye which I'm in love with. I just love these kind of rusty browns. It just gives a real depth to the to the dyes of the yarn. Oh why are you falling now? I'm just swirling these up to make them into my little yarn cakes, my little yarn pin pinwheels, because I think that's a really nice way to see yarn. It's kind of, it shows you the inside and the outside of the skein all at once in a big kind of loop, which is nice. Oh, that comes up so nice. Sorry, I'm not very organized. Like yes, sure. it's like a little Catherine wheel. I normally try and tuck that under, but I kind of like the way it is now. So this is Calypso. Super pretty. I am in love with this colour. I just can't decide whether to put this bit, I think I'll put this bit in the middle. And then some, oh no, I have to put it the other way around on my hands. So I sent this over to Mina to, um, she asked me if I wanted to send over some yarn for her New York Yarn Club and I was just like, what? That's the kindest, most awesome thing Ever. So she put it up on her website and I was just like, on her blog, on her most recent podcast and I was just like, the tears, so cute. Oh no, it's going to pop out. Stay in there. So I've only got two of these left because I've sent off one for it to be knit up for a sample and then one has gone to Mina. But I do think that I am able to replicate this. Not perfectly, because no hand dye is ever perfect, but I do think that I'm going to be able to replicate it as much as I possibly physically can, so. Because it's just so pretty. I really want to get into more saturated colours. I've been doing some experimenting with a lot of white kind of light bases, which is really gentle speckles, because I, I, I actually needed some of these for projects, so I needed one of these beautiful icy ones. Um, but I was thinking that would be a lovely kit. Never mind the laundry in the background, right? This would be such a cute little shawl kit. I think I've sent that one away to be a sample, to be knit up by a sample knitter as well. So yeah, I've been doing a couple of deeper colors and then there's this bad boy. Oh, he's just come undone. Rude. So this is all the yarn that I photographed. I got really lazy with these um, cotton. <laughs> Once and I just took the pictures as a group because I think they are beautiful um, but they're tonal, do you know what I mean? So there's no like separate variations. So normally what I do is I, I lay out the skein in a big long um, open loop so you can see where the dye falls and all of that. But with the tonals I'm like, oh, they're kind of all the same. Well, they should be, you know, semi, semi solids, you know, semi tonal. Um, and also, don't they look like Refresher Sweets? I'm going to call them my Refresher Sweet series because I do love doing them and they're so pretty. <sighs> and I, they are currently in sweater quantities. So that's good. I'm kind of looking to do... I have got this 
color this beautiful light green in a sweater quantity but this blush is such a beautiful like silky the cotton ply gives it a little bit of a silk sheen and it's so lovely to knit with as well so because it's still mostly wool and anyway all the rest of it is in my merino um base merino sock base uh this is ivy that's calypso peeking out there i haven't come up with a name for this yet it's very similar to old town i need to have a little look and see how similar it is this is the tulip and i think the other one i think i'll call the rose where is it it's hiding so I think I'll call this one the tulip and this one the rose because it's actually based, it's actually for, uh, I dyed it up for Beardy Chill's new pattern that's coming out called La Tulip et la Rose and it's based on a, um, a Art Nouveau kind of stained glass windows. Um, he has given me the pattern to start knitting up the pattern in it but I just don't have, so I don't have the time but I will, I definitely will knit it up at some point but do love these colors anyway so yeah and then there's these little bad boys I have a name for that and I've forgotten what it is and I have a name for that but I've forgotten what it is too and there is cutesy cutesy little aura down there aura dip so now I've got a pain in my tummy and I don't know why I think I'm gonna put the knee iron away now and do a bit of transferring files and sit down and have a little knit for a bit before I head over to Barbara because I just need to have a look and see what I need to bring over because we're going to be talking about some winter knits and some other things as well. I can't remember. There's another tag as well that we're talking about but I can't remember. I gotta go and do my research but I'll do it with a cup of tea and less upping and downing. My tummy, why is my tummy so sore? <sighs> Welcome to my life, by the way. So I did it again. Uh, I went outside without my jumper. Technically, I do have it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've, I've just remembered lots of things that Barbara told me to bring and I have not brought them. So also people are in the car upset and they're looking at me. It's okay. We have a guard spider and he's slowly moving up towards the handle. I'm not gonna show it in case people are really scared of spiders. But he's kind of, I mean, like he's a dude because he's getting rid of all the yucky flies and stuff. But at the same time, you're getting a little close to the handle there, my eight-legged arachnid friend. Anyway, so I'm heading over to Barbara's. I've got some lipstick, I've got a USB, I've got my laptop, everything's good. So bye. <laughs> Whoa! back in the car again so I just had an amazing few hours with Barbara we filmed two videos which was super fun and I'm tired now I'm very tired but I pick you up James and um, Barbara's given me this really nice idea but I'm a little bit nervous about it but uh, maybe to start doing a food series just um, a lot of people get really confused when they think, when they find out that I uh, choose to eat a vegan diet or plant-based diet and um, they're like, what can you eat? So um, she said that um, she'd be really interested to find out um, what kind of food I cook and you know, what do you substitute for the standard easy things like meat and um, fish and um, cheese and eggs and milk. So. I'm going to start doing that. I think tonight I'm going to make my curry, my standard Sunday curry. It's delicious and fabulous. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that and have it for the week then for lunches because that's the best thing ever. So I'm wearing my super cozy, 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 cozy Beauty and the Beast colorwork sweater, which I designed. I haven't written up the pattern. <laughs> I'm so far away from doing that keep saying that every time because people say what is the pattern can I know can you tell me can you write it up quick and I'm like no nope 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 <laughs> I have no idea how to write patterns <laughs> I know how to knit them but I can't write them so um yeah I'm gonna help James he's got to unload loads of stuff into the car and yeah so I'm gonna leave the vlog here tonight because I'm gonna be vlogging my curry business so good night sleep tight and I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Bye!